so confused. They're meant to be bestest of buddies. But I've got Catnap hissing like crazy. And I've got the dog getting angry and woofing at the... Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Hey, guys. Welcome back to another video where today we're in the Smiling Critters roleplay. And yes, this is what we've had a look at before. But since then, there has been a massive update. As you can see while I'm looking into the sky, we've got like literally... All the different houses for the Smiling Critters, which we are totally yes, yes, gonna check yes, out. But also, yes. more importantly, we have these new morphs, which are the baby Smiling Critters. But not only can we actually become them, there's something pretty cool of making Catnap and Dog Day as a baby first meet. How do you think they're gonna react? Do you think they can be really friendly and maybe get on with each other like bestest buddies? Or do you maybe think they're gonna end up fighting each other and becoming worse enemies ever. Well, we'll find out later on where Quack is saying it might just end up that they're going to eat each other. And honestly, that's not the outcome I want to know. But hey, what do you guys think is going to happen? Put it in the comments below. So with that being said, let's head on and check out a few morphs, which I know we've got some new ones over here, which I've not seen yet. I do believe we've checked most of these around the map so far. So this one here next to Quackers and Sonic Doll, as you can see, they are with us in the video today. I can see we've got ourselves a Nightmare Catnap, which has got an interesting tail. So Quackers is saying scary catnap, but why does this look so odd? Why has my catnap got boots? Can you give me an answer? Why? I don't understand. So obviously with these morphs, they don't have any kind of like jump scares or anything with them. Wait, someone's crafting corn? It's me. Oh, that must be Sonic though. Oh, okay, fair, fair. And that must be Quackers as uh, obviously Bobby Bear Hug. So we got Dog Day with legs. Although why does he look like he goes to the gym? Well, they got more build to them. To be honest, it's um pretty crazy in the way that these look. So guys, do you know what these morphs are from? Are they from some kind of animation or something that I've missed? Because they all look like they may be adults from a completely different universe. Christ has said, yeah, they look like adults. It is. It's really strange. So I'm just going to call these the adult smiling critters, which means we've got the one end of the spectrum, which is the adults. And we do somewhere else on the map have the babies. It's almost like you could work your way from like a baby stage to a teen to midlife and then to your senior age of these ones, which is actually pretty cool to have a little life spectrum of how they evolve. So what I'm going to do, like I did last time, is choose one of these morphs over here because they had the ability to jump a little bit higher. And I think I'm going to have to... Oh. It wasn't this one at all. It must have been over here. So there's ones that's a smaller version. This is the one. And I'm going to choose Cartoon Hoppy just because I'm a little bit of a fan of it. So for the first one I think we should check out is this one over here, which I believe is Kicking Chicken's House. And I also believe you just get up there by doing this little obby, as you can see us doing quite... Wait, are you kidding me? So I just jumped on my head. That's cheating. Although, can I take a shortcut and maybe go up like this? Oh, oh, that's actually pretty cool. Okay, so there's a shortcut to get back up here. And am I missing something? Can you just jump across? Okay, well, you don't have to do the whole loop to get to Kicking Chicken's house. You can literally just jump across from this particular one over here and not have to do what these guys are doing because, hey, we're thinking ahead. We're using big brain time. So this is clearly Kicking Chicken's house. This is pretty cool. I can see that at the moment, we've got, uh, I think it's Quackers saying very slow hoppy. And since when did you have a, wait, what the? That's really rude. Who are you to say that? Guys, Kicking Chicken, Catnap or Hoppy? Out of those three, which ones do you prefer? Now, here we have actually discovered, I can see we've got Hoppy Hopscotch's house all over there. We've got Crafty Corns, Catnaps. Now, I have been to Catnaps house before. What I want to do is get up to Dog Days, which I think I can see Quackers is almost up to over there. The question is, though, how do we actually get over to it? I feel like we need to get over this way, which is to go to... I think it's Catnaps house first. So when you get to this point here, you will see you've got the morphs for... The ruined smiling critters, which we've had a look at before. And I think they are the legit model. I think I just read Quack has said he's now become the ruined chicken. So we should be able to find him in a second. Uh, probably on our way up to Catnap's house. As we haven't got too far to go. Now, do I need to jump on this tree? Oh. Okay, literally that was all it was. Okay, that's not too bad. So what is this? I know I said I wanted to go to Catnap's house. But there is actually something here with just books. 
Is this meant to be like a library? Yeah, there's a light bulb here, and I'm pretty sure that relates to Bubba. So I think I should thank Quackers for that, because at this point in time, I still need to wait my way over to Catnap's house. And uh, since we last played this, they've definitely changed these obbies, these floating discs that are everywhere in the game that lead you to literally every single different smiling critter's house uh, is just, yeah, it's been rerouted to take longer. And I don't like longer. I want to get to these places to check them out sooner so I don't have to spend 5,000 years trying to get to them as I work my way around. And wait, is someone already here? Who is in this house? Who's this? Well, that's clearly Sonic Doll. He is the only one that would insult me like this right now. So I know we've got Sonic Doll here with me in Catnap's house. Uh, it's a bit of a one bedroom kind of building. I was expecting a little more, considering we played the Smiling Critters roleplay game and the house maybe had a few more kind of areas to it. I think it had another floor. Well, I'm just gonna jump out of here, head on over to the next place. So let's have a quick look around. I uh, can see we've got Crackborn's house there. Obviously, Hoppy Hopscotch, which is my house at this point in time. So over here, we have Dog Days. And hopefully, it doesn't take anywhere near as long to get there as it did to get the catnaps. Because, wait, am I meant to go to these clouds? <gasps> oh, I am. Although, this guy here, Sonic Doll's trying to oof me at this point by jumping on my head. And, oh, wait, is that Quackers? Is that Quackers as the ruined smiling critter of Kicking Chicken? If it was... He didn't follow us down, but hey, who cares? Let's go check this out. So Dog Day's house is, yes, look at this. You've got the iconic sofa. You have the poster on the wall. You have the clock and you've got the TV, which really isn't there. What have they done with the TV? Bro, bro, I basically beat you here before you jumped on my head. Yes, right, you cheated. You jumped on my head and almost threw me off. And I'm pretty sure you took a shortcut from up here and jumped down. Ow! I just got jumped on by this chicken. But otherwise, this seems to be what we've seen in other games, but also in the pictures that we've seen that are kind of like lore for what the houses would look like. So while we were up there, there was a red disc that split off to somewhere else. And now I can't get up to it. Wait, what the? How did they do? What? How are you guys getting up to that? That's, that's so unfair. So as we went up to here, there was a divider, which is right here. So we need to go across to this on the red disc, which is very slowly, but surely climbing up. And oh, ooh, what do we got here? Who's actually here with us? Oh, we've got a house with two floors. And the fact it's so high up is actually pretty awesome because you get a really good view of the rest of the map. So let's head upstairs. So I think we had cat app. So yeah, okay. Sonic Doll and Quackers are here. Well, I think this has got to be... Bobby Bearhug's house, I think. I think just basically because of the red apple on the front. So I don't know how accurate this is. And who just got flung? Someone went absolutely miles over there and got flung off. So what this leaves us with at this point is over there, you've got Hoppy Hopscotch's house and then you've got Crafty Corn. So we need to figure out how to get over there pretty quick. And I think I know how. And I'm just going to take a shortcut down to here without breaking my legs and heading onto the bus. And then just like this, we will be victorious. So I think that's Quackers ahead of me, obviously taking a better shortcut. I have seen that Sage has joined us in the game, so we should see him shortly. I have no idea which morph he is, but we will see him, I am sure, in probably one of these houses. If not, probably checking out some of the new morphs, which we haven't actually had a look at yet. So with all of this, Awesome parkouring, although I think Quack has just dropped down into this. We've made it to the Hoppy Hopscotch house. Yes, we have. Check it out. What a beautiful view of nothing. That's the best kind of view. And I think it's the same on the other side here. Yep, yes it is. Dang it. What are you doing? Oh, wait. Was I the one that actually got here first? I beat you for once. Pretty cool. Now, obviously, with this, I say the chest is true. What we've got is Crafty Corns, which is actually pretty cool because it looks like it's just made out of cloud. I mean, look, the whole way up there is cloud. Oh, okay, I'll take it back. you got white little discs, and then we are so close. Did I just... Oh, I think I'm about to beat him again. Work my way up, and... Hey, Crafty Corns got clothing. Oh, they got a lava lamp. I love these lava lamps. Having a very quick look around, I think this is the last house we had to well, explore and have a look at. So we've now had a look at all the houses 
that you can see on my screen at this point in time. Which then means that we've actually got something quite exciting to have a look at, which is the baby smiling critters. But like I said, not only are we just gonna have a look at them, I wanna see how both Catnap and Dog Day interact with each other as the first time of meeting. So as I've just come back to spawn, I can see there is a baby Bubba Foot here, which is actually pretty adorable. And honestly, I'm so looking forward to seeing the Cat Nap and Dog Day version. Although I'm hoping they have the rest of them as well. All I need to do is actually go and find them. So I have a feeling that they're going to be in the play park, if anywhere. And I can see we've got yes, Cartoon yes, Cat Nap yes, and Cartoon yes. Hoppy on the seat. So, and look, they're having so much fun at this point. Oh, this is amazing. So this is obviously them as the babies. Look at them. They're so adorable. They've even got diapers on at the moment. What? is this obviously it helps make them extra adorable now obviously these two are getting on quite well i don't know how long they've known each other i didn't even know if they're actually meant to be good friends but look they're both smiling they're both happy i wonder if we can find any of the others now i can see we got a oh is this a crafty corn oh this is amazing look at this the baby crafty corn is so adorable honestly oh it's so awesome now i can see also we have got a baby dog day on the swing. Do you need me to push you? Can I even help? I don't even know. Wait, hang on a sec. Like, uh, oh, I just run through it. It just says goo goo gaga. It's clearly a baby. It's got baby speech. I get that. I get that. But like, how am I supposed to know if you're happy or you're sad? If I booped you on the snoot, would you be happy? Boop! This is good. This is how you make friends and keep the baby versions happy. You give him a little boop on the snoop. Oh, wait. Maybe not. Maybe booping on the snoop is not made him happy at all. And maybe I shouldn't do that again. I clearly don't know what's happening here. Dog Day is on his own on the swing. What if we bring maybe Catnap over and see how they get along? I mean, I don't think they've actually kind of met yet. I'm looking at the two over the back there and Dog Day over here on his own. So let me see if I can somehow bring... Ah, actually, let's make it easier. Dog Day, you need to follow me. I'm going to take you to meet some new friends. So come on, follow me this way. Oh, look at this. He's so adorable. Look at this. He's like one of the biggest kind of woofers I've ever seen. He's taller than me. Why is he so tall? He's meant to be a babby. It doesn't matter. But, uh, follow over here. So Dog Day, this is Catnap. And this is... The little hoppy. Oh, they're so adorable. Look at this. Oh, this is good. Look, they're doing that thing where they kind of have a look at each other and then they try to see if they're good people. Look. Oh, this is amazing. I think this is a good sign. Wait, what? Why are you hissing? I'm so confused. They're meant to be bestest of buddies. But I've got Catnap hissing like crazy. And I've got the dog getting angry and woofing at the... Oh, this is bad. This is bad. I swear they're going to be best friends. Oh, wait. Maybe they become best friends later on. Maybe they just need to... Oh, no. What the? Am I supposed to do something here? Um, I think they're fighting. I don't know what to do. Am I meant to do something? I think so. Maybe. Oh, no. Baby Dizzy's crying. He's made him cry. Guys, you need to stop. Baby Dizzy is in tears. Ah, uh, I need to do something sensible. Um, oh, I know. I know. I'm going to boop you and boop you. That's for being naughty. You shouldn't fight in the playground. Wait, wait what the? Oh, no. Okay, maybe not. Ah, I don't know what to do. They're attacking me at this point. This is not what's meant to happen. Wait, hang on. I think they've all calmed down. This may actually give us an opportunity to check out the other ones we haven't seen yet. So the baby morph spawns are all here. And the colors represent the different smiling critters. So I think we have seen... Oh, no. We've got... Piggy, piggy, look at this. Oh, look at this. This is so adorable. I didn't realize how much fast they run. This is actually quite impressive, if I say so myself. There's no additional morphs or anything to them, but it's just so cute. Then you got Bobby Bearhug, which looking pretty cool. Super adorable. Oh, now look, I've got a twin. Although maybe he's an older brother. I've just realized we look so different. And it also looks like we were eating the table. But obviously, we have got Bubba Fun, the adorable looking elephant. And I can see Catnap is still getting angry at this morph. I don't know why. I thought it'd be super friendly towards Bubba Fun. What is going on with you, Catnap, today? You are like on one. You and Dog Day are both just really angry. There's no need for it. But with that being said, we've moved over to Kicking Chicken. Although I can see Dog Day is still angry for some reason. And so is Cat Day. That's just... No, helping them at this point. They are just on one to be angry and... Oh, wait, what the? So moving on to Crafty Corn, probably 
one of my favorite versions of the baby versions of the smiling critters. So obviously super adorable. It's got a little tiny horn on its head. And yes, it does also have this little emblem. Although I've realized that it's not a 3D model like some of the other ones, like this one here. You see how the emblem or the necklace is like a 3D model? Yeah, it's literally just drawn on for this one, which is a bit of a shame, but it is still pretty cool. And I can see we over here, we've got Catnap. Obviously, we've got the one and only Catnap. And obviously, Cartoon Hoppy, which is not Cartoon Hoppy. I just call them all Cartoon Hoppy because I've been kind of tormented in expecting a Cartoon Hoppy update in a game we want to play with some space. So every Hoppy is Cartoon Hoppy. Cat Day? Ah, I meant Catnap. Ah, I keep saying Cat Day. All because of the video we did yesterday and we saw a Cat Day version. It's really thrown my mind off. But honestly, guys, which one of the baby smiling critters is your favorite? And more importantly, did Catnap and Dog Day get along? That is the main question. I believe they're here. Are they happy? Are they sad? And it looks like... Uh, they're not happy or sad. But maybe, guys, if you like the video and subscribe, they will become best friends. So hit the like button, subscribe, and we will catch you in the next video. Remember the book, the suit! Bye!